be doing a get ready with me. Are you ready? I've never done a talk through where I put my wig on. So I want you guys to kind of see how I do this. So when you are applying a wig, you want to make sure that one, your hair is as flat as possible. Because if it's not flat, then your wig is going to look lumpy underneath and it ain't going to be fresh. Just going to make sure my hair is in two braids going back so that I have a middle part because my wig is in the middle part right now. I haven't named her yet, but I need to give her a name. She desperately needs a name. And it is from Best Lace Wigs. It is a custom unit. She did not come like this. Cut it a little shorter and I did some layers in the front and I will show you guys how easy and quick that is to do yourself. When you get the wig, it'll come with lace across the front and you'll need to cut that off if you don't want it, um, if you don't need it and you're not gonna use it. You have um, these straps at the back. Most wigs have straps at the back. Um, some of them don't, but some of them do. Adjust it to fit your head. Um, I suggest making it as tight as you possibly can without giving yourself a headache. That way your wig will not come off. And I usually put my makeup on before I put my wig on, but we're gonna do this first this time. So I'm lining my hair, my wig up with my part, as you can see. And I'm going to pull down the back underneath my little pony. And then on the inside, you have combs. So because I have two braids on the side, I'm gonna slide one comb under each braid. So one dose. I'm not just used to different languages, but that is okay. This is my flat iron. It is a bioionic flat iron and I love this flat iron. I got it from Amazon and I'll put a link in the description box to where you can find it if you wanna get it. Yeah, and while that warms up, I'm gonna do my makeup, my Smashbox primer water. Did you get, what, was there something in there for me? Uh, just uh, normal milk. Dang it. I need them to come on with my package. I got things to do. Now, I'm going to apply my primer. And I'm going to use Becca Evermatte Pore Perfecting Primer. This is my favorite primer when I want a matte finish and because I don't feel like really like blotting and stuff today, we're just gonna do this found this primer. Uh, which foundation do I wanna use today? I think I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever HD foundation cause I love it. Um, but first, I'm gonna like conceal because when I conceal and correct first, I feel like I don't have to apply as merch foundation as I usually do. told me that this is an empty so I'm really trying to get the rest of this out even though I mentioned it in my empties oh oh there we go there we go girl you better get that on the sides yes okay okay there's more in here I'm just highlighting the areas that I feel like need a little bit more light to them just a little tiny bit I just feel like my face was kind of flat looking there for a second and I don't have my beauty blender because it's being cleaned we're just gonna use a brush today. Oh, I didn't do my brows. Let me do my brows. I think Shawty, when she did my eyebrows, I think she took off too much underneath here because my brows are usually never that skinny at the front. Like, why do they love taking off like part of your brow in the front? I don't understand that. Like, I like my brows to be full in the front. And I tell them when I wanna clean up, that means I wanna clean up. But like, don't just start taking parts off that weren't gone. This wasn't my regular brow lady that did them this time. It was another lady, so I won't be going back to her again. My brows grow quickly, so it's gonna be all right. Ugh, I'm gonna burger. I'm so hungry. Now that that's finished, I'm gonna um, set my face because I totes forgot to do that. I'm using my MAC, I mean not MAC, Makeup for Pro Finish Powder. Feel obliged. Oh, that's hot because it's my flat iron. I was like, why is my desk hot? Do a little contour on the forehead here. Let's 
to use my favorite palette, Maya Mia, because Maya Mia is bae. Taking a blending brush, and I'm just gonna take warm taupe and apply that all over my lid. Yeah. I'm just taking that all over the eye, under the eye too. Just a smidge under the eye. Small, more precise brush here. And I'm going to take Sienna and put that under my lash line here. Mix that with a little bit of caramel and blend that on the outer portion of the eye. And like, not on the lash line, but like as close to the lash line as possible. Kind of at an angle, kind of like applying winged liner, but just like dusting the eyeshadow on that part of my eye. I'm just gonna take some powder and sweep that underneath my eye and kind of clean up the edges here because I am a mess and I make a mess when I do eyeshadow. So I'm trying to clean it up a little bit. What am I gonna do? Wanna kinda apply lashes just a little bit, but I don't wanna apply lashes, so I'm not gonna apply lashes. But I kinda wanted to, but I'm not. Let's apply lashes. No, 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 no. I'm gonna apply my mascara. You guys know my fave. Better than sex mascara. I'm just applying that in an upwards motion, like so. You see how much of a difference that makes? Jeez Louise, Mary and Joseph, that was amazing. Look at that, one coat, bruh. One coat, one coat for the one time. Ooh, getting it everywhere. Can any of you put mascara on without getting it all over your lid? Because I can't. I don't think I've ever put on mascara and not gotten it on my lid. Gosh, I made us. Let that dry and then go in with the kill. Another coat. Another one. Another one. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh too hard because then I'm gonna get mascara on my lid again and I need to stop. And let that dry and then I'm gonna apply another one. And then I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. I'm gonna do a very, 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 very subtle highlight. Just a little bit. I kind of wanted my face to be like matte today. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna take my Laura Geller. It is so pretty. I just highlighted that bump there and I didn't even know it was there. Okay, that's great. Well, we got a little, we got a little star on our face today. If you have bumps and acne and stuff, just don't apply a highlighter powder, guys. Just use a concealer and be done because you will have stars, rockets, constellations on your face like I do. This highlight is actually better applied with either your finger or with a beauty blender. It applies amazing with a beauty blender, but of course my beauty blender is dirty today, so I can't do that. I'm gonna take this Jordana lip pencil in Coco Loco. same lip colors all the time but guys guess what I have some ColourPop lip lippy sticks coming in the mail they should have been here today and I wanted to do this video today of course it's not here yet my package is running late so we're just gonna have to wait so now I'm gonna do some setting spray and I'm using my LA girl setting spray okay so now that I'm done with my makeup I'm going to do my hair I bring all my hair to the front just so I can analyze what I need to do this side is still flipped this side is not, I don't know why. And if you want to frame your face with layers, all you have to do is take the piece that you want to frame and cut in a downwards 
motion. So I try to do like right here to bring out my cheeks because my jawline is really strong. Start cutting here. So I would grab the hair and start cutting here in a downwards motion. This is my right hand. So I'm obviously right-handed so I can't cut like that. So what I do is I twist it like this and cut downwards that way. And that's how it ended up like this. Taking my flat iron, I'm going to um, show you guys how I flip my bang out. So I comb it back and I take the flat iron and I curve it backwards. Okay, and then I do like that and boom, it's curved under. I'm just gonna comb it up. I hate these little short hairs here. I don't know why they do those. I, I don't need those. Curve it. And the more curled you want it to be, the more you curve. So if you want it to be a complete curl, you would take your flat iron and run it backwards and then the hair should be like sticking out this way. But I'm not gonna do that because I don't want my hair to be curled. I just want it to be bumped. So, it's because as you can see, it's already too much, but it's gonna fall because I'm not gonna hairspray it or anything. I don't like hairspray. I'm just gonna cut a layer in this hair really quick because this side is like not as short as this side on this side. And this side, and this side, and this side, and this side, and this side. What I do is I just take it like that. And that is all I do to give my, my hair a little of of an oomph, you know? And if you want it to be big, you can just fluff it out and boom, it's big. And when you get a lace wig, I suggest that you always, you know, spruce it up, cut it, um, layer it, do whatever you want to do to it to make it your own because lace wigs come basic. And if you don't know how to do hair yourself and you just don't trust yourself to do it, get somebody else to do it. I've seen people go into the hair salon all the time with a wig and tell them to um, style it for them to make it fit their face and look really good. I think the difference between a cute lace wig and a really good lace wig is one that actually fits you and I think that's why people love this one so much as opposed to my other blonde wigs that I've tried because I actually styled it to fit my face. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and learned something cool today. If you did give me a thumbs up and I will be sure to do more videos like it. Other than that I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys in the next video okay?